On Saturday night, a man walked to the police station at Blue Room near the parks and reported to the police that there was a group planning to carry out terror attacks. He said he was part of the group but had run away from the rest in Barara. Uh, he claimed that uh, the people, he left them in a certain place, so we quickly moved in and uh, arrested uh, some of the people found there. The five are still in custody as police tries to determine how they came into the country and if indeed there was any activity relating them to terrorism. These constant alerts and warnings have not gone unnoticed. Terrorist groups in East Africa have evolved both in their sophistication and in their capabilities. We are all potential victims of terror and therefore we must all be vigilant in ensuring its eradication wherever we find it. While community policing has been looked at as an end to ordinary crime, it comes in handy in the fight against terrorism too. The IGP says while many people are indifferent to who their neighbors are, that knowledge shared could save the community from a terrorist. Combining vigilance, of, of ordinary vigilance of you and me as individuals, there is, no, there is no other formula to deal with this. One of the problems we face as a country is not having shared vision on anything. The IGP has now given a directive that all district commanders should fast track the building of the community policing system. He made these remarks as the force and the U.S. mission Uganda showcased their joint community counter-terrorism outreach program. The program is aimed at ensuring communities are educated on the most common terrorism methods and are motivated to report potential threats. They plan to conduct open forums throughout Uganda. On July 11, 2010, Uganda suffered terror attacks, and knowledge of new threats accentuates the grave need for as much counter-terrorism initiative as possible. Josephine Karunji, NTV.